You're not gonna like this, Mrs. Johnson. Would you care to explain this? That's a red arrow, ma'am. Where I come from, a red arrow facing down means not good. So, why would the red arrow be facing down, Sophia? People just aren't tuning into our frequency. Why? They're losing interest in Kim Kardashian. And someone found out that the bachelor is scripted. I knew that Prince Farming bit was too much. Well, it looks like we have no choice. Not? Yes, yeah, Sophia. Activate the satellite to today. And to think that for years we've thought that the greatest threat to humanity was nuclear war or the revival of the parachute pants trend. If Katherine Heigl can't pull it off, neither can Middle America. Harper, I'm looking for Greg Herman. You must be the very specific specialist from Washington. That's right. Houston, Greg Herman, head of mission control. I hear you have a problem. That's right. Houston, we have a problem. Come meet the team. This is spacecraft communicator. Marsha Teague. Flight activities officer. Patty Crump. And this is Glenn. From accounting. Everyone, this is Houston Harper the very specific specialist from Washington. Okay, so what do we know about this thing? Patty? It's bad, we know that it's very bad. Wow, that doesn't sound good. It's not, sir. Patty? Here's the Earth, here's the Sun, and here's a giant disturbing mass known as dark matter. Amazing, can you justify what we are talking about with the science monologue? Preliminary data testing shows that the mass is enormous. Though, despite its size, we have found no signs of intelligent life. Its composition appears to be iron, silicates, and varying amounts of nickel. Perfect! Couldn't understand a word. Can anyone make it worse? Yes, go ahead, Glenn from Accounting. If it hits the Earth, nothing would survive. The end of mankind. You don't get it, Glenn from Accounting. It already has. So what do we do now? Mr. Herman, we have no choice. Glenn from accounting, bring him in. You guys can just call me Glenn. Guys? Honey? I'm home. Welcome home, Claire. It's so good to have you home. I know, baby. I know. It's been such a year, my darling. You can say that again. It's been such a year, my darling. Tell me about it. First, we almost lost you in that shark attack. You spent six months in a coma. Then you were pronounced dead, but came back to life after a lightning bolt struck the hospital and jump-started your heart. Well, I'm here now, baby. And I'll never leave you again. No, sir. You can count on me. They need me in space. I understand. Clark, wait. Take this. With one call, NASA brought in the best of the best under the age of 14. But don't be mistaken, these heroes can face anything. Nothing can stop them but, ah crap, door frame. Okay, something's wrong. Just try going back. Try back, up, back up, back up, back up, no. Thank goodness you're here. What took you so long? Slow motion walk, Commander. Of course, and the music? Emotional and uplifting, sir. Perfect. 
Oh. Uh, hello, astronaut. Sarah. Sarah Poole. Glenn. Glenn from accounting. I'm pretending not to be nervous about this mission, but I clearly am. Hopefully nothing happens to you, but if it does, at least now someone cares. Oh, some guy from accounting. I'm going to miss you. It's Glenn, actually. Oh. Astronauts, this jockey, you've been selected because you're the best and brightest in your field. That's right, the future of our planet is in jeopardy. As you can see, our Earth is being threatened by a cloud of toxins we call the dark matter. This mission is dangerous. This matter is deadly. This cup of coffee is actually empty. We're not afraid, sir. That's good, sir. We'll need your courage now more than ever. Due to the highly dangerous nature of this mission, we ask that you are in orbit to update your Facebook status. You can count on us. We don't know how to fail. Brock, pay attention. Sorry, AJ. You can count on us. We don't know how to fail. All systems are go. We're about 90 seconds from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery. Nervous about the ball? It's nothing. Come on, Clark. What's on your mind? I said forget it. Leave him alone, guys. He said he doesn't want to talk about it. Now can we please let him have a moment with his photo to ensure a clear driving force to get us home? Hi, I'm Clark's wife, Emily. Oh, great. Nice to meet you. The love interest is sitting over there. All systems to go. Hubble is ready for countdown. Roger that, ground control. You're heroes, men. You're American heroes. No, sir. Today, we're Earth's heroes. Okay, astronauts, we are 30 seconds to launch. Repeat, we are 30 seconds to launch. Roger that, ground control. All right, now when we get ready to take off, make sure thr thrusters at full force. Stasis field needs to stay on. Prepare to launch in 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Uh, I don't have four, a visor. You'll three, be all right. It's just two. Uh, the bike helmet. Boost the ignition and liftoff of the space shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station training device. Okay, astronauts, we're ready to take off. Okay, astronauts, we're ready to take off. Okay, astronauts, we're ready to take off. Okay, astronauts, we're in orbit. That wasn't that bad, actually. I know, right? This is News Channel 5. I'm Carol Conley. And I'm Diane Winnegar. That's right, Diane. Here with breaking news. We've just received word that, only minutes ago, NASA launched a rocket into orbit on an urgent mission. That's right, Carol. Sources indicate that this mission pertains to a terrifying mass that we can only identify as the dark matter. That's right, Diane. The dark matter is thought to be extremely dangerous and harmful to life here on Earth. That's right, Carol. It is. That's right, Diane. That's right, Carol. 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 The numbers are in. Kim Kardashian's ratings were down at 18%. We're losing them. Yep. I gained the same thing. Both Duck Dynasty and Palm Stars are dropping rapidly. Well, they won't be able to stop us once the Black Matter has completely taken over their bread. We must hurry, ma'am. NASA has launched a rocket and it appears to be heading this way. I concur. 
according to our tracking device, it's headed to our reality television satellite. The contact appears to be imminent. How will that affect our brainwash matter? Without a reality television satellite, the black brainwash matter will completely evaporate. I'm scared, ma'am. These are NASA engineers with doctorates. So a bunch of NASA engineers with their doctorates think they can outsmart us. We invented reality TV. She's right. If the virus from Breaking Bad couldn't stop us, then neither can NASA. Uh, I don't know how we can stop them, ma'am. Get the mind-numbing laser beam to today to train the lives. We'll increase their TV and cell phone addiction exponentially. And then we will win. <laughs> the nation is in a state of crisis as details from the emergency space launch continue to unfold. That's right, Diane, and we have heard reports of widespread effects of the black matter. That's right, Carol. We've heard that innocent civilians have been duped into viewing and in some cases even imitating these reality television stars. It's just terrifying. That's right, Diane. In fact, just the other day my sister told me I'd been voted off the island and tried to force me out of the house. That's right, Carol. As I recall, she carried a torch and everything. That's right, Diane. She's full of emotional problems. I agree. Mm-hmm. That's right, Diane. That's right, Carol. Check the thermal conditions and pressure. We're losing them! Flight 345, do you read me? Please come in flight 345. Astronauts, DJ, it's time you really know what's going on in the dark matter. Sarah and Clark? Yes, yes sir. sir. We are running out of time and need a compelling backstory to get this mission over and done with. Let's review your love interest. I almost died three times, and I only saw my wife for 30 seconds before being redeployed. I just met some guy from Mission Control, and there was long dramatic eye contact. How long? Five to ten seconds. Sarah, we're counting on you. Brock. Yes, sir? Quickly, get some kind of rising action music playing. I have just very sound, sir. All right, reality television satellite. You're going down. Some guy from Mission Control, I'm coming home to you. My name is Glenn. All right, the only way we can defeat these reality television droids is to pummel them with some knowledge. Launching encyclopedias! Brilliant, Sarah. What are encyclopedias? Only the fastest and most convenient way to research any topic at lightning speed. Um... Luckily, I always carry complete their Britannicas. Goodbye, Volumes A through D. This is for Earth! They say knowledge is power, Diane. That's right, Carol. Uh, the greatest threat to our Earth was neutralized today by our brave space explorers. That's right, Diane. It took 17 rounds of encyclopedias to knock the satellite out of orbit. That's right, Carol. And what's an encyclopedia? Oh. Honey? I'm home. Welcome home, Clark. It's so good to have you home. I know, baby. I know. What a week it was. You can say that again. What a week it was. Tell me about it. First, you were called into outer space on a secret mission, only to find out that you were battling international brain terrorists. Then, you barely made it back into our atmosphere with enough oxygen to emergency land in the water. Well, I'm here now, baby. And I'm never leaving you again. No, sir, you can count on me. They need me in a deep sea expedition. I understand. I, 
um, forgot the picture. Mission Control, we're on our way to the turkey. Mission Control, we're on our way to the turkey. Repeat, we are on our way to the turkey. All right. Speaking of turkey, I'm actually kind of hungry. <laughs> you aren't supposed to come in yet. <laughs> I... All right, reality, tell you TV, sorry. Yeah, give yourself three seconds after I say All right. Action. That's right, Carol. Sources indicate that this mission may pertain to a, a terrifying mass that we can only identify as the dark matter. Try that line again. Yeah, I messed up something. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> uh, um, that's it. No, you don't. I'm turning the spaceship around. Went the wrong way. Different galaxy. Sorry. I guess. Are you telling me we've been going the wrong way this entire time? Oh yeah, when's the last time you went to space? I wanted to go sightseeing. <laughs> I know it. Uh, amazing? Amazing. Can you justify what we are talking about with a science monologue? Oh, you broke. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Blooper. Oh, it's still going. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can count on us. We don't know how to fail. AJ. <laughs> AJ. 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 Try it again. are dropping rapidly. So a bunch of... <laughs> what did it get? Guys, at least now someone cares. Oh, some guy from accounting. I'm going to miss you. It, it, it's one, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep rolling. I like this song. Yeah. Can, we, can we just party for a little while before we take this Yeah. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fly to the left. Uh, uh, fly to the right. Uh, uh, crisscross. Uh, uh, crisscross. Uh, uh, cha cha real smooth. Cool.
that you are. I don't up above the world, so I really try. Alpha, Alpha, Charlie, Alpha, Bravo, Alpha, 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 Bravo. No, Delta, Charlie, Foxtrot. Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh no, that means that we're taking a bathroom break. Hold on. You can eat when we save Earth, okay? No, I had a Capri Sun in there! No! Well, why didn't you say that to begin with? Hold on. We need a debate if we're gonna make a U-turn or not. The egg is in the nest. The basketball is in the hoop. The soccer ball is in the nets. The egg is in the boiler. The clothes are in the washer. The dryer is running hot. My name is Glenn. 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 Ah! Hey, look! The TMZ headquarters! Looks oddly familiar. Like I've seen it in a movie. Hmm. Oh. Whatever. It's probably like a brand or a model, you know? Clark! Yeah. Yes. Where is your father? 